So Monty and I have spent the last six days doing a deep dive on iOS 17. We've tried to use every new feature that Apple's introduced, and here are the top five features that Monty and I think you guys will enjoy once it gets released. Now first on the list is FaceTime on Apple TV. Now how many of you can relate to trying to FaceTime your kid while talking to your parents? You're just basically doing this for like 20 minutes. With iOS 17, that problem goes away because you could put your parents on the TV and then you could put your kid into a chokehold. I kid, it's just nice to be able to see my parents on the big screen rather than on the tiny screen while I'm chasing my kid around. The fourth thing I'm impressed with, Safari profiles and enhanced private mode. Now as an ardent internet explorer, I'm excited to have you know tab groups for stuff I do at home. I do a lot of cooking at home. And then I got tab groups for at work, you know, where I just, I post a lot of stuff on the internet. And being able to manage how all my stuff is being tracked, you know, I got work, I got home. Now I do have to clarify that I like the idea of all of this. The current implementation that Apple has in iOS 17 for all of it is incredibly clunky. So I'm hoping in the next few months they clean it up somehow. Now the icing on top of this cake is the enhanced private browsing mode. Now Apple has already included this feature in previous iOS versions, but Private Relay is a type of VPN. When I first turned on private browsing in iOS 17, it asked me to turn this on. So it's front and center. This basically means that everything I do on the internet remains anonymous, we'll say. The third set of features that I think you guys will really enjoy, audio transcription and messages and location sharing. Now the message app is one of my most used apps. And so I love sending audio uh, messages because it's just so much easier than typing. But I hate, I hate <laughs> listening to audio messages. Am I the only one? So being able to see a transcription of an audio message, primo. Now when it comes to location sharing, if you haven't tried it in iOS 16, I say you go try it. Cause it's a very neat feature. But with iOS 17, it's baked right into the messages app. So you're not switching between find my and messages. You're just staying in messages. Now what's gonna be the biggest problem, Monty? Yeah, convincing that family member or friend to actually use that feature so that you're not waiting around all the time for them. Now, speaking of waiting around, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications so that you don't have to wait to uh, see Monty and his one goopy eye. Now, feature number two that I think you guys will really enjoy, interactive widgets. Now, from my perspective, interactive widgets basically turns my iPhone into a remote control for my house. Things like all the smart lights that I use, as well as all the music that I listen to with all the different speakers I've got set up all over the place. Like seriously, it's just so great. Was never a big fan of widgets before, but this implementation of widgets, awesome. I will note though, that between the interactive widgets and the control center, there's a lot of overlap between those two uh, different features. So it'll be interesting to see what Apple does with that. The thing I'm most excited about in iOS 17 is not that, it's this offline maps. I'm so excited for this. And maybe it's because I've got a background in mapping, but e being able to download this big data set of information that I can search and create directions from, awesome. I plan on doing a ton of camping over the summer and being able to download, you know, a map of Kananaskis for 115 megabytes. That's a no brainer. So those are the five features that I think would be most useful in my life. And that's the context that I'm approaching this video from. I know there's a few notable features like standby as well as journal that didn't make my list. Journal doesn't exist yet because it's not being released till I think next year. And standby is just basically Apple watch faces for your iPhone. I don't know how useful that will be. So what do you guys think about the new features in iOS 17? Have you guys downloaded the beta? Are you guys going to download the public beta? Drop your comments below. First time watching my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that, again, goopy eye.